All right, I'm freaked out, you guys. Oh my God, the night I had to be. Get away from me, B. I'm in no freaking mood. All that food that I got for that buck got stolen. Some freaking loser took it. It wasn't consumptionable for humans to eat. What a bunch of losers there is. And that's not even a half of it. There was a mouse ran from under my mother-in-law's refrigerator to under the stove. You don't know. I didn't grow up. I never had stuff like that in my life. I never sweated so much in my life. I thought I was going to have to go to the hospital. My husband acts like it's nothing. Well, I went and bought uh, almost $30 worth of mouse traps today at Home Depot. And he's got, it's his fault. He hasn't patched up the hole from under the house underneath. That's why it came out of it. I'm telling you, that shit better be fixed by the time I go home or I'm beating his ass. I'm not even playing around. I'm losing my mind. I was up all night staring, staring like a lunatic, sweating, staring, sweating, staring. And then the guy who gets to come, he's so damn dumb to get the, the, the food for the deer, he comes at 2.30 in the morning. He's supposed to come there at midnight. Somebody stole it off top of the truck. I mean, like, you know what, dude? Hours it's been sitting out there. What's wrong with you, you know? Was not happy about that. Not happy about that. So I'm waiting at work. I'm way early. I'm not even punched in yet. I'm waiting to get a car. Just not today. What Seeing that mouse destroyed me. I don't know. Any of you, my question, any of you ever had a mouse in your house? This lady at Home Depot said she's seen one mouse. She put this thing out with $7 for one trap, and it humanely keeps them in there, and they don't come back out. So I will get more of them if I have to, but we're going to put them where we've seen it at, under her refrigerator and under the stove, which I need to clean under. It's filthy. It's like just dust and dirt. But, um... And then I bought a lot of them traps that go snap. I don't want to do that. I would rather just get into this thing and be done. Only seen one, and I know I know there's only one. It came up, and it, my husband seems to think that it went back down or the house during the day, and it probably did, but I don't know. I don't know for sure, so I want him to set other traps, snap it around the house, like, you know, the snap you put a piece of cheese by, but those two expensive ones, put it where I seen it, and then we're going to go from there and close everything off. And then so that way, nothing else can, can get back in the house, nothing can get out, it'll end up going in one of these traps and dying. Or hopefully, it's under the house and doesn't cause any problems and dies under there. That I can't take, I'm telling you, I want to know what your experiences are, what you did about it, what worked, because I really don't want to be spending three or $400 for exterminator. And I believe it's just, they always say, when you see one, there's more. No, I believe this is one that came from under the house, somehow got in. And so we're going to take care of it. Because it, it, this has all got to be fixed before I come home tonight. Or I'm beating his ass. I'm not playing. Th this should have been fixed a long time ago. But then his ma passed away. It's been one thing after another. And I understand and I know, but my patience is done. Least tape up everything and close it all up so nothing can get in, and then I'll be good from there. You know what I'm saying? Lisa sharing life stories with you. I love you all. Come back and give me your ideas, suggestions. I love you all. Bye.